Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to create a box plot in Excel. Here we have our data set. We're going to use the variable score to create our box plot. A box plot is a common way to summarize a variable using a five number summary. Five numbers are minimum value, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum value. A box plot is also known as a box and whiskers plot and it's a graphical way to display this five number summary. So what we're going to do first is we're going to calculate these values using functions in Excel. So to find the minimum value, we're going to use the minimum function, which is min, open bracket. Here we're going to select the values, not the column label, only the values. And I'm going to use the formula bar to complete it. So close bracket. Press enter. So you should get negative 46.52. Now instead of manually selecting my data set, I'm going to make note of the cell reference here. You can also highlight it and copy it so that you can use it for the upcoming functions. Next we need to find the first quartile. So we're going to use the quartile function. And array is basically referring to your data set. So I'm going to paste my data set which is b2 to b36 comma since we're looking for the first quartile, we're going to select one and close bracket. Median, we're going to use the median function. Again here, you need to paste your data set, close bracket, press enter. For third quartile, we're going to again use the quartile function. Paste your data set or select it, comma. Since you're looking for the third quartile, we're going to type in number three, close bracket, press enter. For maximum value, we're going to use the maximum function. Paste the data set, close bracket, enter. So now we have generated the five number summary. Now in order to create our box plot, what we're going to do is we're going to select our data set. I'm using the column labels here to so the entire data set. Once it's selected, we're going to click on the insert tab. And in the chart section, you're going to click on the statistical chart option and you'll see your box and whisker option. So once your chart has been generated, you can of course select any design that you like. I'm going to select this. I'm also going to change the title. I'm going to increase the size. You can do that by dragging right here and at the borders. Now I'm also going to do one extra step. Click on the box itself, right click on it and select format data series. Here, notice there's a little cross mark in the middle. This is your mean marker, I don't want that. You do want the outlier points, so if it's not there, make sure you select it. And here for quartile calculation, it says exclusive median. We want to choose inclusive median because median is one of our summaries that we use in our box plot. And then you can close this box. So let's take a look and understand what we see here. So on our box plot, so it turns out that our minimum value is actually an outlier. This dot here signifies the minimum value of 46.52. Our minimum value is actually around negative 17.34 which is the line here now this line here should correspond with your first quartile so 1.195 this line in the middle should correspond with your median so around 15.09 and this top line is your third quartile which is 22.185 and this line is your maximum value which is around 44.08 so let's talk a little bit more about this outlier that we have detected outliers can be extremely large or small observations and sometimes it could just be due to random variations in which case you would keep it in your data set However, sometimes outliers could be a result of bad data, which resulted during the data entry process. And in those cases, you would remove it from your data set or double check your data. I also want to point out that there is no universally agreed upon method for treating outliers, but it is important to detect them. And using an effective tool, for example, here we used a box plot, is important. 